Hey guys, it's Gal Chartreuse here, bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we're taking a look at three designs I came up with from an idea I got from the Redstone Reddit. Now, what people were asking there was for a 20 second like plate thing, pressure plate type thing where you stand on it, you have to wait 20 seconds and then for it to latch. If you step off it, it goes back to normal. So the person we were talking about command blocks and like tests for and the pressure plate not being stable was like, what? Come on, use some. This is a pure redstone challenge. You can do it in redstone, so here's what I came up with. This is just a 10 second version. You could double it length or stagger it over there, make it not too bad. But this is, is something that could have existed in pretty much any of the Minecraft betas since repeaters came out. There's nothing special about this except the glowstone lamps just to indicate it for us. So what we do here is each of these rows is, is one second, but uh, and then this one is uh, 0.8 seconds because the two torches here make up for the last. So each two group here is two seconds. So we have uh, five of those in a row, which gives us our 10 seconds. I think it's five. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah. Five of those in a row gives us our 10 seconds to this torch. So now there is a disadvantage. You can't just do a long repeater cha chain because then your reset time is exactly the same. So what I've done is divide this up into these five sections, which can be reset quickly so it's a compromise so you have a two second uh, complete reset time and you can do detections if you want at the end to make it essentially an instant so what we do is we have these things that clamp off the lines so what this does it will stop any signal from passing through so any signals that's already in here will just fade out so when we have this you know, watch it build up we'll do a full one first and let show it show it actually works for the 10 second delay see our progress meter as we go up and there's our final one. Now if we step off the plate, in two seconds everything is completely cleared here. So that's why we do it that way. So one disadvantage is if someone walks off and then walks on and then walks on again, you see that little pulse traveling up ahead of the group? So what you can either do is wait for a, like a, two, wait for a two second long pulse at the end, or just count that. Like if you, don't, if you don't care if the player steps off and then back on again, wait for the pulse. If you care if they step off and on, wait for two seconds wait for a two second long pulse at the end because that, will, that a two second pulse can't occur because two seconds is a loop so that's how we do you differentiate that it's just a simple design we have our pressure plates so our pad single hmm, sorry single goes into our long array that's technically a delay of one but so is this we have a torch here inverting all these to hold these off originally I was using glowstone and just uh, instead of the repeaters and I thought why not just go all uh beta in this place pure pure design pure design and that's what we came up with here you can make a progress bar with the lamps you just tap off right here at the side of the torch and very simple if you want more you could possibly you could tap off here and get the halfway points so this is just the design i came up for repeating I had to extend this one out because you can't really just make a line of repeaters in a row or i haven't thought of it enough so i would find a nice solution but this is just mine i just go up through the block out one up through the block and around so now the second design is for people who like comparators it's also a lot smaller it's a more modern design it uses uh comparators hoppers and items uh here's the items we've got six snowballs in each six snowballs here six snowballs here six snowballs here and here so when the pressure plate's off this these are all being held in place in the starting side and when this turns off, it lo the torches come on here, sticking them in the opposite side. However, for all the ones in sequence, this torch is stop also stopping them from moving until the previous one is done. So I have six snowballs. Is That's a bit over two seconds. So I have four of these, which is roughly ten seconds. It's not exact. But and what we do is we wait for the signal strength to go to two to turn this tor the next torch off. So on snowballs, six snowballs corresponds to a strength of two. That works out quite nicely. We just use our comparators, carry it along. So I'll show you how this works. It has this, so now this one does have the same issue as the other one with the reset. So that's why there's multiple and not just 10 item, whatever many items, 12 and a half items in a hopper and waiting the 10 seconds because that ha would have a 10 second reset time. So this one, it'll turn the output off really quickly. In two seconds, the hoppers will be completely reverted. But until they are, you could jump on, I'll wait it until it gets to the end here, 
to show it with the light. So let's get it to the end. And strength two. So we can hop off, hop back on, and then it's only a short, it should only be short. Oh, nope, it fell back too far. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit shorter. But the things all revert in sequence. So it, it, you can, it'll shorten it, but it's quite a lot of shortening. So like if only one item moved back and you happen to be off for that short of a time, you'd have to wait for four items to go to the right. So it's not, it's a lot uh, quicker for quick step offs to reset itself, but it's still not perfect. Now, there's no real way of doing it perfectly. You could have a ton and make it m massive in size and have a one tick reset with, say, repeaters or something, but it's not really worth doing that. So now I have one final design. This is more for map makers. This is a cap simple capture point. So what we do is we have our clock here and we're testing for in a radius of four, someone on team blue. And over here, we're testing for someone on red. Right now, I'm on team blue. So, and I'm in a radius of the blue one. So it outputs, turning this torch off. So what it does, we have a hopper here with, I have 28 items in total. So when this side's off, it pushes it towards blue. And when we get enough to get a strength of two, we turn the light on and we say we're done. Now you can make that as long as you want. You just need more items and that cap changes your capture time. So now what happens, Let's show it works for red. We have the same thing. We'll turn it'll turn this torch off. Now the radius is meant so that you can stand. There's this little three. There's about a three by four area up here where you can capture. And as you can see, I'm still I, I can still keep the torch off. So now I'm going to change over to red team. So on red team, this torch turns off. So now these items start counting over, and you could possibly make some in progress thing, but I screwed up and made this too too wide here. So there's no real nice way of doing it. But, as you can see, we capture it. So, if you want to test in progress, you can, you'll can you probably want to tap off this line as it goes around. So, figure out the nicest way. It's probably easier if you have these command blocks separated by a, one block, so you have an, a neutral space in the middle. So, how, how, what other features of this? So, when no one's here, both torches come on, it will freeze it where it is. So, if I start capturing this as blue again, you got a partial capture here. When we leave, it'll stay in that state. It won't revert. That could be a feature or a downside if you want, but you can set up some comparators on here, loop back, and set, figure out a way, if you had more than a strength of two, to keep the, the making go back to the majority. Right now, it stays neutral when no one's on the plate. If it's in a neutral state, uh, no one has it, so it encourages people to recapture their own points. So now, one more thing, what happens when both teams are on here? So we've got our neutral one here. I'm going to stay away from it, so 13, 15. What we're going to do, I'm just going to simulate having a player from both teams on here, which will turn both torches off. So what happens here, both torches are off, the items just bounce back and forth because they're going to be feeding. One goes here, one goes here, one goes here, one goes here. No progress is made real, no real progress is made. You might see them... The numbers go up and down, up and down, but they won't change. That's the benefit of this. Let's take these off again and recapture this. So if you want to make this longer, you add more items and then correspondingly increase the length of the signal you're looking for. And boom, we've captured it for blue. Ah, someone might like this. Can't really use it in single player survival or any survival PvP games, but maybe for a map if you're not sure how this worked. Anyway, it's been Chartreuse. Have a nice day.